Have you ever run one of those days where you just feel that you are not very good at what you do and you're wondering why or how you're still in business? Yeah, that's me at this very moment. I'm sitting on the floor in front of my dirty feet alley. I had my second really bad scan. That's two in a row. As you remember, I changed my breeding system and I only want them to have the opportunity to get bred in one heat. In doing that, I am hoping to have a tighter lambing group. That's kind of what I was doing. I always knew because I was going to run into out of season breeding, so April and July, I always knew there was a potential for poor scans and I knew that I would be subpar and a lot lower than I typically am with a two heat system. So this scan was 53% and I'm not happy with that. These are mature ewes, so they don't really have an excuse, except for the fact that it was July and it was hot as stink this summer, so there is that. I'm gonna run them through my Gallagher system. I'm gonna take the afternoon and go over the numbers and see if I find a reason why they failed. But right now, I am feeling like a huge failure. There's a little bit of pressure because I know you guys are wanting to A, either see me fail, or B, you're wanting me to succeed so you have something to try yourself. So I'm feeling really crappy about myself and I'm feeling really crappy for you guys who are trying to make some big decisions. But I guess this is worst case scenario, a hot, bad summer means that uh, your conception rates could be lower. I haven't called my vet and I haven't called my feed guy because I don't want them to tell me it's my fault. Not yet. I need to take the afternoon and digest and then I will talk to them. Oh, another crappy thing that happened. Look at me, I'm picking myself off the floor. One of these lovely ewes, I don't know where she is. She got caught in, I'm gonna show you. She got caught in this little swing gate. So what this is, it's a, it's a backup gate so they can't get back. She freaked out at it like, it, like it was her first time seeing it, which it wasn't, she's seen it a million times. She got her, her front foot caught in it and curled back with all her weight and she went down and she broke her leg. So not only do I have a crappy scan, I have to put a U down. So it's just not been a good day. Things can only get better, right? Isn't there a song about that? So basically what I'm doing is I'm running them through. I'm just recording them right now. And if they're open, I just wrote open at scan. And what I'll do is I'll take it back to my office and actually run those, run the data and see who they are and who they were bred by and all that nice stuff. I do want to show you one particular animal that I have to mark a little bit differently. So if they have two lines, so this red is what we painted today, and a line means she's open, but she was bred in April, and I scanned her in June, I believe. April, May, June, yeah. Um, so the green we used in June, and she had a line. So this was her second chance to redeem herself. She did not. So now I give her... A big old, that line, if I can catch her, turns into an X. 
and she goes bye bye. So I just ran them through and right away there are eight that were rebred and they missed for the second time. Eight might be good or it might be bad still. I don't know. The computer will tell us more. So what I think I'm gonna do right now, I'm still learning the Gallagher system. I'm not, I'm still not very good at it. Melissa had taught me how to do reports on this and I've been doing that for my lambing groups and it's been a godsend. It's been a lot easier to ma manipulate my way through data. I think with this one, I'm gonna do a report uh, on this and then throw the things that I want in. See if we can figure out what's going on here. I did the numbers here and it's looking perhaps like a ram issue. I had these ewes split up into two groups. I put the Ile de France and the Suffolk just together. In that group, uh, there were 79 ewes in that group and 50 of them bred. However, my Ritos, I always, I put on ewes that I want as replacement. They were duds. Only 18 of those ewes out of 47 that I put them in bred. So that's 38%. Not good enough. Which is disappointing. Those Ritos, I've been really, really happy with them. Um, and the Ritos breed out of season. So none of this even jives with what they say. I've been always told that Suffolk do not like to breed in the summer and the Ritos do. The only thing I know that on that Rito group I know I had too many U's on it. Um, I only have eight Ritos and I like five U's per ram. So I had 5.8, 5.9 U's on each ram and I like, I like that more like five. So I did push them a bit hard but let's see. So I have 13 of those other rams so 79 divided by 13. I had over six for the Ile de France Suffolk group, so none of the none of the things that are supposed to make sense are making sense. But what I do see here is something happened with these Ritos because I think the females are all good, mature ewes. They should be able to breed. They should be in their prime. They know what's going on. They're like Mrs. Robinsons. They're on it. I would say it's not the females in this particular case unless they're a little bit over conditioned. I didn't think they were when I bred. I think they are now, because they've been eating their faces off and they have no fetus to support. I'm a little bit cranky, if you can tell. So, it's not age, it's not an age thing. I don't think it's a you thing. I really, in my gut, I don't think, mind you, my gut doesn't mean anything right now. I'm thinking it's the ram. I just, I don't understand if they're all in the same pen, they all look good, they all have about the same conditioning. So, why did some of them work and some of them didn't? And now, I feel confident talking to you guys, talking to my vet, and talking to my feet guy about this. If you guys have any suggestions on, on what I look at or what I do. So I talked to Mark today and he just said, first of all he called me right away because he knew what I would do which is react and that's probably not a good thing to do before you know the details, which he's right. I really want to stay with this one heat system. I really like lambing time. Lambing is hard enough but to do this many animals over three weeks, three to four weeks, oh my god, I just, I just honestly, I don't know if I'm just getting too old, I just don't think I have it in me anymore to do that after I've gone to this one heat system, but these numbers upset me and I don't know what's going on. These are December born lambs, which are Easter market lambs. Those are the ones I really need for cash flow. So I'm a little bit disappointed. It's a disappointing day. All I have to say guys is some people don't, some people think we do too much data entry and, and, and scan and analyze data, but honestly, without this stuff, I would feel so crappy all the time. I would be making knee-jerk reaction decisions because that is me, that is who I am. I always do that. I feel like I'm like, oh crap, I'm screwing up. I'm automatically gonna fix it or change it, but half the time it's, not what I think, and this the data tells me stuff, and I don't know, it's, you have to start collecting data that will work for you, and I think that that's the biggest thing. I think we get so caught up in, in what system will work, and what handling system we have, and what computer you have. I don't think it has anything to do with that. You figure out what data will make you a better manager, and use it. Don't make any decisions until you analyze it, take the time to analyze it. Like it's, it's 7.30, I'm exhausted, but 
I wouldn't have been able to sleep tonight without knowing what was going on. So I'm glad you came around for the journey with me today. I'm sorry, I'm so grumpy. I really had a good feeling about this group. So I was just really, it was like a big slap in the face. And that happens. Don't get discouraged like me. Don't be like me. Just keep going, collect your data, figure out what the problem is and don't jump to conclusions. Just keep on doing the things that are working and uh, align yourself with people that can help you. I was texting a friend today too that I knew he was, he is in a very similar system to me and I asked him how his summer results have been too and he said he has been struggling this summer too. So sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't make it any better but sometimes it might just give you a little bit of encouragement when you're feeling really, really crappy about yourself. Find your people, find your tribe. I'm here, so if you're struggling and you wanna reach out, I'll do my best to get back to you guys. It's not an easy, they look easy and they look cute, and they're not. It is a really hard, livestock can be a hard one, a hard beast to figure out, but we're in this together and I think we have I think we can figure stuff out. Thanks for hanging in with me today and I promise that I will be in better spirits next time. Take care.